Hey everybody, it's John Stewart again, coming back with another edition of Bitcoin in the Arts. This will be number three for the month of March 2015. I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to be here. This is actually the second time I'm recording this piece because I tried to record one earlier today about a topic that I've had kind of in the pipeline for a while, but I just failed completely. Like I recorded a whole episode and it ended up being like 30 minutes long and none of it made any sense. And I just decided it was better to throw it all away and um, start with something new. So I'm actually going to talk about Liberty.me. This is um, maybe only tangentially related to Bitcoin. So you're going to have to forgive me for that, I guess. Give me a little bit of leeway here. Liberty.me is a, it's a liberty-minded social network. On our podcast, we've had Jeffrey Tucker, who is uh, kind of the head man behind Liberty.me, the big idea guy behind it, and he contributes a lot to it. He's also a huge Bitcoin advocate. If you're into Bitcoin at all, I'm sure you've heard of him before. He's a cool guy. He's a great speaker, fun to talk to. And uh, he created what is a pretty awesome site. I actually just got a, an account on Liberty.me a few months ago because they came out with this new create section, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. It's an art section to their site. It's a, a place where you can post music, images, and videos uh, that are liberty focused. I think this is a great idea because it is a social network and posting art on social networks is huge. A lot of people have made careers out of it. If you're in a band or or you make videos or something like that and you're not on a social network, you are putting yourself in a pretty big disadvantage. So I think it's cool that they've provided a place for specifically liberty centric art to be posted and shared. And yeah, it's it's really cool. I have one thing posted on there. It's my Adam Kokesh remix. Well, it's not the whole thing. It's just the intro section to Adam Kokesh's Freedom audiobook. We played bits of this on the podcast before, but I haven't talked about it in a while. I was remixing the whole thing, and I plan to finish it when I get free time, but that has been uh, hard to come by recently. But yeah, you can check it out on there. By the way, the create section was added February 14th, which is Valentine's Day of 2015. So it's still pretty new. It's only about a month old, not even yet. Right now, the way it's set up, they have a featured art section and a member pick section. If you're a member and you want to create or you want to submit something, it'll show up in the member pick section first. If they like it, if it's a really good piece, then it will get moved to the featured art section. So the featured art section is supposed to be kind of like the cream of the crop. And then if you want to explore a little bit more and see what other members are posting, you can go to the members pick section. So th there's a lot to see on here. There's, you can kind of uh, probably spend hours on here just looking around at all the different stuff and trying to find some cool videos or, or songs. I guess I'll talk about a few of the things that I found on here that I particularly like. There's one on here that's called Copying is Not Theft, which is pretty funny. I've had a uh, occasion to talk about my thoughts on copyright many times in the show, and I'm generally not a big fan of copyrights and intellectual property in general. It's a complicated subject, but I tend to be pretty against intellectual property law and stuff like that. So this is kind of a funny video about copying and how it's shouldn't be considered theft. So that's worth checking out. Another one on there that I thought was pretty funny is Bitcoin Girl. It's kind of this video song about a guy who's like, I think he's like some kind of Wall Street guy and he falls in love with this Bitcoin girl and she won't give him the time of day because, you know, he's stuck in the, the evil world of fiat currency. And it's kind of funny. And uh, it's a funny video as well as song. So that's worth checking out too. Both of these, by the way, are, are in the featured art section, I believe. Yeah. If you want to hear my Kokesh remix, you can also find that in the featured section. I should mention that. Um, there's some other things on there that are worth checking out. There's um, an Ed Snowden song, or a song about Ed Snowden. There's also, a lot of people post videos of uh, other songs that people have written that have to do with Liberty. And that's kind of cool. 
Uh, Tax Man by the Beatles is on there, which is a great song. I'm a huge Beatles fan, and George Harrison has written a lot of great songs, and this is one of them. I particularly like the song. If you've never heard it, it's worth listening to. It's kind of cool. And for the time, it was pretty uh, gutsy. Uh, they called out some politicians by name and stuff, especially for the Beatles, because they were seen as kind of a little bit more on the conservative side. Um, but yeah, that's a cool song that calls out government for stealing money from people, which is always a worthy cause. Another one that I, is kind of cool is this song Handlebars by Flowbots. Now, I remember listening to this song several years ago, many years ago, probably when it was still new. I think it's a, a fairly old song. And I just remember like me and some of my friends thought it was a cool song and we listened to it a lot. But I didn't really get that much out of it. So when I saw it on there, I was kind of confused. Like, why is this on a Liberty site? And uh, so I decided to watch it there just to refresh my memory because I haven't heard it in a long time. And it ended up getting a lot darker towards the second half and a lot more, a lot more poignant than I remember it being. But yeah, it's it's a cool song and worth listening to. I'm probably going to keep listening to it now that I've been reminded of its existence. So there's a little bit of nostalgia there for me as well. But yeah, I mean, if you're on liberty.me, definitely check it out. And if you have anything to submit, this is a cool place to do it. And you can get other people who are interested in Liberty to check it out. Maybe comment on it or something like that. Yeah, and you could explore here for a while. There's, yeah, tons of stuff on here. Oh, I should, I should, I uh, guess, as I mentioned, uh, I uh, posted my Adam Kokush thing on there. I think one of the things I want to try to do this year is post on here semi-regularly. I'm not quite sure how often I'll, I'll be able to get something up here because not all of my music is always focused on liberty, at least exclusively, although it sometimes is, so I won't be able to put everything on here. But when I, when I ha do have something like that, I will definitely be posting on here. So if you're into my stuff or would like to get into it and have never listened to it before, you have to look out for it on there. You can send me a friend request on, on liberty.me and I will accept it. Yeah, I don't know. There's not, not much else I guess I can say about that. Support liberty, support good art. Uh, this has been, <laughs> sorry for the extremely awkward ending, but this has been Bitcoin in the Arts. I've been John Stewart. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you later. Thank you.